According to Beijing, a U.S. destroyer, the Decatur, came within 12 nautical mile territorial limits claimed by China on September the 30th. The Chinese Defense Ministry says the U.S. did not ask permission to sail so close, and a Chinese naval ship reacted immediately to identify the U.S. ship and warn it off resolving the situation. Washington, however, says the Decatur had to move at, at the last second, essentially, to avoid a collision. The incident occurred off the Nangshunjiao and Qinghua uh, reefs, known by the U.S. as the Gavin and Johnson reefs in the Nancha Island chain, known in the U.S. as the Spratleys. While the U.S. maintains it does not take sides in the territorial disputes in the South China Sea, it often sells its ships within uh, the 12-mile nautical territorial limit claimed by China, uh, saying that these are international waters, and it's a signal that Washington does not recognize Chinese sovereignty over the area. As you know, Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia also make sovereignty claims in the area. Now, these U.S. so-called freedom of navigation operations have been stepped up by Washington and others in the last few months. Spokesperson for the China's Defense Ministry of National Defense said Tuesday that China has indisputable sovereignty over the South China Sea Islands and their adjacent waters. However, the U.S. sent vessels to enter the South China Sea without permission, threatening China's sovereignty and security and harming the two countries and military's relationship as well as uh, the region's peace and stability, end quote. The incident comes as a planned China-U.S. security dialogue later this month seems very much in doubt. China's foreign ministry said Tuesday in a statement that the U.S. has recently proposed to postpone the dialogue. China and the United States will continue, they said, to maintain communication on the second round of a China-U.S. diplomatic security no time or date was given. Well, the trade war and the tariffs war between uh, Beijing and Washington shows no signs of ebbing. In fact, the U.S. top economic advisor uh, said to reporters earlier that the discussions that were held last week at the United States between Japan and US, the new NAFTA trade deal uh, is all pointing a finger at Beijing. Let's take a listen. At the U.N. last week, we had uh, very positive talks with the European Union, and we've had very positive talks with Japan, and now we've completed uh, the new uh, NAFTA, which I'm not allowed to say. It's USMA, uh, United States, Mexican, Canada, MC, sorry, USMCA, got to get that right. Um, we're sending China a message. They're, send, they're not going to break up the allies. And there is a trade coalition of the willing developing to cure, if you will, I'll use that word generously, China's wrongs. Now, that may be wishful thinking in terms of uh, some sort of coalition, but it does show you where Washington's mindset is uh, right now when it comes to uh, the trade war between Beijing and Washington. While it may have settled disputes or at least damped them down with neighbors and European allies, and to some sense, uh, Japan, uh, very much this White House uh, not doing so with Beijing at the moment. Nathan King, CGTN, Washington.